After hearing that Rob Zombie got the green light to direct a modern day Munsters film, because of course he'd be the one to direct that. I don't know, I just kind of figured that it was time to talk about one of my favorite... mysteries? I'm talking about the alleged pinup shot of Yvonne DiCarlo, aka Lily Munster, in a sexy spider web bikini. Yes! Even if you have just like a passing interest in the old sitcom, or just goth shit in general, you've most likely come across this image at some point or another. What I find so provocative about it isn't necessarily the image of a sexy Lily Munster on display, but rather no one seems to know where the fuck it came from. Despite the fact that it is actively available and for sale in countless retail stores, both online and in physical locations. If you've ever been to like a Zia Records or like some sort of like online Etsy shop, you've undoubtedly come across this image as like a refrigerator pan or a t-shirt or something to that effect. So today I wanted to take a look at this strange image and attempt to get an idea of where it originated from. I didn't want to milk the entire length of the video and kind of string you guys along on this whole wild goose chase, so I'll just just say straight away that as of now I don't have a definitive answer on this particular topic as of yet in regards to its authenticity if it was photoshopped etc 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 however you can look at this as more of like a call to action in search for answers Regardless, this is the infamous Lily Monster in a bikini photo. This isn't the only famous potentially photoshopped picture of Lily Monster. So right off the bat, you probably already know that this isn't the only famous potentially photoshopped picture of Lily Munster that has been sold in stores for almost two decades now. The other is of Lily Munster in a quote unquote more traditional looking bra. Although this image is just as well known, I think it looks way faker than the other one. And that isn't to say that there isn't other semi-famous photoshops, but these two are the most famous. And honestly, if this one is a photoshop, which I kind of think it is, it's a pretty good one, but I'll cover the image in detail a little more later on. For now, I wanna go over what information is known and what questions there are that still need to be answered. If you were to search up Lily Munster in a bikini, you'll find various Etsy shops selling this particular image. Refrigerator magnets, t-shirts, posters, etc., etc., etc. And despite the fact that this product is widely available, not one credits the original image or where they found it, which isn't entirely surprising if this is in fact just some random dude's Photoshop. Now, since we can't verify its authenticity, the first most logical question is whether or not this is an officially licensed product. And funny enough, I actually can't answer that either. Look, fireballs are shit! At least, not at this particular moment. I reached out to NBC, the current holders of the rights to the Monsters, asking if the various Etsy shops and products were officially licensed by them, and thankfully, someone from their departments responded. They stated, Unfortunately, we do not have any information on the Etsy stores and if they have received the ability to create an authorized merchandise. We recommend reaching out to the shop owners for those particular stores and requesting information on their products. We apologize that we cannot provide more information. Which <laughs> is kind Kind of hilarious in its own right because the current holders of the rights to the monsters can't even tell me if the, these fucking random Etsy shops have the authorization to sell their merch. So I decided since I had someone on the line anyway that I'd push back and just ask this person straight away whether or not the image was real. And this is what they had to say. Unfortunately, this is not an item that is sold in our store, so we are not able to speak to the validity of the image or official merchandise. We apologize for this inconvenience. More likely than not, whoever I was speaking to is probably just some like normal nine to fiver and they get flooded with ridiculous questions like this all the time and the chance of them actually having the answer was always going to be slim but i think it was cool that they still responded back to give me some sort of answer to that and honestly it was actually pretty quick it was within 24 hours so Hats off to NBC for getting back to me quickly. It's still kind of hilarious though. So if we can't get any direct confirmation from NBC itself, let's turn to some of the comments in the Amazon listing for the same products. As you can see, there isn't a whole lot that sheds light on the product's authenticity. However, there are two comments that I do want to spotlight. The first stating, Photoshopped. I did a lot of research and found the original face they took her photo from. This is disgrace to a lovely lady. She was 47 year old. 
when they created the monsters. Which makes me ask a couple of questions. The first one being, what research did this guy do and what were they able to uncover that I just wasn't able to find? And see, that's kind of the trick with this particular image because I've looked up various different fucking pictures of Lily Munster and a lot of them are similar in like how her facial structure looks, but none of them are like pinpoint accurate to what this particular image looks like which kind of leads it more to being authentic because it's almost fucking impossible to figure out where this exact face came from. The second being, if this is indeed a Photoshop, which I'm like 99% sure that it is, then what does the rest of the picture minus the neck and head belong to? And you know, try as I might, I couldn't find anything remotely similar to the background or body of the woman in the picture. It's entirely possible that the original picture is just hard to reverse image search given the popularity of the Lily Munster image. My only other guess is that the body shot itself is an original work done by the initial Photoshopper. And what I mean by that is they took the pictures themselves with the backdrop and the body itself and then Photoshopped Lily Munster's head on there. So that would actually mean that if this was all staged for just this one Photoshop, that there is no original image out there for this. But honestly, we could sit here speculating all night, but it's something to keep in mind as a potential possibility. Now, the second comment on the Amazon listings question states that, this is Photoshop from the neck all the way down. Yvonne DiCarlo was born in 1922. So she was 42, which you know contradicts what the other guy said, but when the Munsters first aired in 1960, and 44 years old when shooting ended and the show was canceled in 1966. The face is clearly Lily Munster, but Yvonne DiCarlo was a heavy smoker, I'm not sure, but okay, and did not have her body into the type of shape in her mid 40s. Also, another way to tell it's Photoshop is the G-string bikini had not yet been invented when Yvonne DiCarlo was famous as Lily Munster. So, sorry to bust everyone's bubble, but this is not Yvonne DiCarlo's body. It's her face photoshopped on a very nice body. I think it's certainly worth the price for a refrigerator magnet. I'm certainly going to buy one. <laughs> and all joking aside, for the most part, honestly, what they say is pretty accurate. In her 40s, Yvonne DiCarlo's body didn't quite match up to that in the picture. And when matching up her body from pictures of her in swimming suits from when she was way younger prior to the monsters, you can see the proportions are basically all wrong. I'm jumping a little bit ahead here, but yeah, if you look at the head in proportion to the entire body, it just looks all off, and that actually kind of leads into where the image may in fact have originated from, but again, I'll get to that in a minute. However, there is one piece of inaccurate information here, and that piece is that G-strings weren't invented until well after the monsters. A commenter a little further down even states that G-strings existed into the 30s, which is entirely accurate. According to EverydayLingerieCo.com, G-strings not only existed, but were used well through the 40s, 50s, and 60s, but before the traditional bathing suit, G-strings were marketed to the everyday consumer. Until that that point, they were used by strippers. Also, let's not forget that the Munsters debuted well after the era of Betty Page. For those who don't know, Betty Page was a very influential model in the 40s and 50s that inspired a lot of the pinup girl posters of the era. She was also widely popular for her risque lifestyle and lingerie that she would wear. Oftentimes, she would even model nude or in what was considered provocative garments of the time. You know, Betty Page was something of a pariah at the time, and considering the fact that her height and popularity was at least a decade prior to the monsters even being on the air it's not impossible that photographers and models would take inspiration from her and follow in her footsteps a decade later. So with G-strings being available and seductive photography also not being as taboo as like a lot of people would tend to believe of the time this does add some validity that the Lily Munster photo could in fact be real. However, after all that, I'm about to burst a lot of people's bubbles because I legit don't think the thing is real. Boo, you stink! For starters, okay, let's be realistic. The bikini itself looks like it would have been something more fashionable in the 90s. Again, not impossible to have existed, it's just fucking really unlikely. Now, the set design itself does fit that era, but 
I mean, let's be real again, that could have easily just been staged. However, to me, the biggest giveaway is the head itself. The proportions are just fucking way off to what Yvonne Di Carlo's body was like in comparison to the image at the time. However, sticking with the head, I think there is another takeaway from all this. See, I think that the reason why a lot of people haven't been able to find the exact image as to where the face of Lily Munster originated from is because that it's actually a painting of Lily Munster's face rather than her actual face. But that's just plain nuts! Many of you out there are thinking, right? And I gotta give my buddy Rexsteady credit for pointing this out, but looking at the hair, it almost looks like, I don't know, like paint brushed on. And if you zoom in close to the face, a lot of Lily's makeup and skin also looks painted on. Then if you look at the eyes, the right one is misshapen in comparison to the other side. And you might be thinking to yourself, maybe her eyes were always just kind of misshapen like that? Well, if you compare her eyes in other promotional photographs, this flaw isn't there. In fact, there are color recreations of this that you can buy, and the defect in the eyes is even more apparent. Now, it's still entirely possible that the image itself was taken from some obscure-ass photograph of the monsters that we just haven't been able to uncover yet. It's also entirely possible that they screen-captured itself the fucking image from like one of the episodes of the monsters but i don't know i think the photoshopper themselves may have taken like a painted image touched it up a bit to make it look a little more realistic and placed it over top of the original body and that image is most likely a painting recreation of this particular image right here and this was also stated by one of the amazon question comments as well if you watch the first video on my sonic green eyes controversy fucking saga you know that I'm not immune to making really, really, really big fucking mistakes, so it's entirely possible that I had just haven't found the image yet, or that I'm just missing something in general, so it's entirely possible that the face is still real. So after all that being said, and my conspiracy theories aside, we are left with quite a few different questions that still need answering. And the main ones being, and the ones that I hope that we can discover over time are, is it Photoshop? Who did the photoshopping? What is the original Lily Munster image taken from? Who is in the original picture? When was the picture taken? What is the name of the bikini that she's wearing? Is this officially licensed merch? And if so, then there should be a record of it. However, that's where the case kind of runs cold, as there doesn't seem to be any other information that's overtly available to be shared upon in this video. I hope that people watching it are able to shed some more light, and that we're able to ultimately find an answer to this particular image that has left a lot of people scratching their head as to whether or not it's a real thing. Now, not every internet mystery gets solved, but considering the fact that there's a lot of people out there that do have access to really obscure facts and information, I don't think it's impossible that we'll ever find the truth to this. I just hope that it's sooner rather than later. Anyway, make sure to keep things light and rebellious, and I'll see you guys next time.